Now, five decades after sending humans to the moon, NASA is once again returning to the lunar surface. In its latest announcement, NASA has said that it has completed stacking its fully assembled rocket. This will be NASA's most powerful rocket that it uses for deep space exploration. The NASA engineers also showed off the, or the Orion spacecraft that was set on top of the space launch system at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral. Named Artemis 1, the unmanned rocket is expected to take off sometime in February 2022 as a prelude to the crewed missions. The NASA has said that it wants to land a woman and a person of color on the moon by the year 2024. What is also interesting is that NASA has named its moon program Artemis after Apollo's twin sister in Greek mythology. Now, between the years 1969 till 1972, the United States was successful in carrying out at least six crewed missions to the moon. And a total of 12 astronauts so far have set their feet on the lunar surface. But after beating the Soviets in getting an American to land on the moon's surface, NASA struggled with budgeting issues. Out of the 20 planned Apollo missions, the last three were abandoned due to a financial crunch. But in recent years, with Elon Musk having announced an ambitious target of launching a crewed mission to Mars by as early as 2024, a new space race has started and NASA, as its target, wants to send crewed mission to the moon by 2024 again for a sustained presence on the moon from there on. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.